The way Hums Elementary was built in the 1970s is a common topic of discussion. So our building is built into pods. The school was built in the open concept style. 50 years ago, that meant there were no doors or walls on the classrooms. Since then, School City of Mishawaka has tried to change that. So here's a first example of an open concept classroom. So you've got two first grades, no doors. And in this side of the building, you've got the open wall at the top. Still, Principal Jeff Yoey says sound travels and can be distracting for students and teachers. Plus, there are clear safety concerns. So when you don't have doors, you can't get behind a locked door in safety drills. The building has also dealt with flooding. So we've had flooding. So our flooding comes out of this hallway and it has gotten all the way up to the desk uh, where the librarian is at certain times. All of those reasons are why the district is planning to start fresh. Hums has always proven to be sort of an operational challenge. Mishawaka Superintendent Theodore Stevens says the district identified concerns at Hums years ago. So you fast forward uh, a little bit. We were really trying to find a place where financially uh, some debt would fall off so that we'd have some room to borrow the money to be able to build a, a new building. Uh, and so we are at that point uh, now. He says that means the district could borrow money without needing to raise taxes. What we want to try to do is build this building, keep it within sort of our debt limit, which means the taxes do not go up for the patrons and for people of the community. And that, that's an important piece of that too. Um, and that's why the board is, is supporting this and feels like this is the time to get this done. Last year, a feasibility study showed the district had two options. Renovate the current hums, which would cost about $34 million, or build a brand new building, which could cost about $38 million. Uh, and during that discussion, uh, and again, all, all open to the public, uh, you know, we would spend almost as much money, very, very close on the existing school uh, as we would a brand new school. Well, that's why we're leaning more uh, strictly towards a new, new building, new facility, proper drainage, uh, build this right to sort of stand the test of time. This summer, the board selected a firm to design a new building. We're trying to uh, be true to the concept of we want to put together a building that meets the needs of the students and a building that this community can be proud of into the future. Steven says plans are still in the early stages. Preliminary renderings show what a new Hums Elementary could look like with zoned access, grade level wings, and safe and secure classrooms. This is certainly an, an iteration. This was certainly a draft price point that was presented. Uh, and the final result may look a little different, may cost a little bit uh, different amount. But generally, those are. this is what we're looking to do. The plan now is to build the new school next to the old school and then demolish the old building afterward. So it sounds like 2027 kids might be going to school in a new home. It is, it is certainly uh, what we are planning for. I think next step is kind of fine tuning the internal parts of the plans. Yoey says little will change inside the building over the next couple of years. Our operations in the building will remain the same, they won't change. Um, the only adjustment for us during the school day will be recess. And he believes in the long run, it will be what's best for students, teachers, and the Hums community. Thanks for watching. Here's another story you may like. And subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube channel.